Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 4 of Swimsuit by James Patterson and Maxine P. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. Chapter 4. A new kind of fear swept through Kim like a cold fire and she started to pass out. But she got a grip on herself, squeezed her knees together hard, bit her hand and kept herself awake. And she replayed the voice in her head again. It's kind of funny and it's wonderfully romantic too. She didn't know that voice, didn't know it at all. Everything said she envi everything she'd envisioned a moment ago. Doug's face, his weakness for her, her learning how to win him over when he got out of control. That was all gone. A complete stranger had tied her up and thrown her into the trunk of his car. She had been kidnapped, but why? Her parents weren't rich. What was she going what was he going to do to her? How was she going to escape? She was, but how? Kim listened to silent in silence before asking, Who is this? The voice is mellow and calm when he spoke again. Sorry to be rude, Kim. I'll introduce myself in a minute or two. It won't be very long now, and don't worry, everything is going to be fine. The line went dead. Kim blanked when the phone call cut off. It was as if her mind had been disconnected too. Then the thoughts trumb tumbled and she found hope in the stranger's reassurance so the she clung to it he was acting nice he said everything's going to be fine the t car took a hard left and kim rolled against the side of the trunk braced her feet against the wall of the compartment and she realized that she was still gripping the phone she held the keypad close to her face she could barely read the numbers by the pale light of the face plate but she still managed to punch in 911 she listened to the three rings and then four and then the operator's voice, 911, what's your emergency? My name is Kim McDaniels. I've been, I didn't get that. Please spell your name. Kim rolled forward as the car came to a stop. Then the driver's side door slammed. She heard the key turning in the trunk lock. Kim gripped the phone tighter, scared that the operator's voice would be loud enough to give her away, but more scared if she hung up, she'd lose the GPS connection between herself and the police, her best hope of rescue. The phone call could be traced. That was correct, wasn't it? I've been kidnapped, she spat. The key was turned left and right, the lock not quite unlatching, and in the fraction of a minute, Kim desperately revisited her plan. It was still good. Say her kidnapper wanted to have sex with her. She could survive that, obviously, but she had to be smart, make her him her friend, remembering everything she could tell pe the police. The trunk lid lifted and the moonlight spilled over her feet, and Kim's plan to seduce her abductor flew out of her mind. She hauled back her knees and kicked hard in the man's t thighs he jumped back avoiding her feet and before she could see his face the blanket was thrown over hers the cell phone ripped from her hands then there was a prick of a needle in her thigh kim heard his voice as her head rolled back and the light faded fighting me is pointless kim this is about you and me it's a whole lot bigger than that trust me but then why should you trust me that is the end of this chapter i will see you guys in the next video bye